I know I'm clutching at straws. I, I get that, Blues fans. I am clutching at straws because I, I think that uh, any advantage we can get like that, if that's the case, I think we win. But I, but I have also gone for a draw. So welcome back to Smallith Alliance FC. Now the season is drawing to a close and most teams have only got three matches left and the battle at the top of the championship is really, really heating up with some teams very close on points and it's equally as close at the bottom. And unfortunately, at the bottom, one of those clubs is our very own Birmingham City. In this video, myself and Matt are going to attempt to predict the remaining outcomes of matches for all the teams in the relegation battle. We'll give them a win, draw or a lose and we'll go through them team by team. So we'll start off, Matt, looking at the first team on my list and that's the team in 18th place and that's Plymouth Argyle. And their three fixtures are Stoke away, they've got Millwall away and then Hull City at home. So what do you think the outcome of the Stoke away game will be? So Stoke are actually right down there with us all there, very much in this battle as well. So this is going to be a very interesting game. However, Plymouth are coming into this with a bit of confidence from that 1-0 win at Leicester. But with Stoke being, sorry, at home to Leicester, but with Stoke being the home team, I'm going to see a draw there. OK, oh, that, that's exactly what I've predicted yeah. as well, okay. for exactly the same reasons. So what about their next game, their last but one game? That's when they're away to Millwall. With Neil Harris at Millwall, he's got them really set up quite well. They've had some interesting results, Millwall, but they have again... Uh, uh, beat Leicester at home. They've had some pretty big results. I'm going to go for another draw. Yep, so have I. Yeah. I've, I've uh, gone for a draw as well. Yeah. It's also worth mentioning as well, by the way, that uh, I've made my predictions without discussing these with Matt. So uh, we don't know what each other have predicted until right at this very moment. So it's interesting to see the comparison. So yeah. far, we've got exactly <laughs> the same. Uh, their final game uh, for Plymouth Argyle is Hull City at home. I'm going to go for a Hull win on that. So a Plymouth loss. A Plymouth loss. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've actually gone for a Plymouth win on that in the last game at home, and they're better at home than they are away. And I've got a feeling by that point, Hull City won't. Well, they won't be. I think the playoff will be out of their reach by then, in my in my opinion. So I've gone uh, for a, for a win. So you're predicting that they will get two more points mm -hmm. uh, out of those two games. So that will for you. Um, Plymouth will finish on 50 points. Uh, with yeah. me, it'll be 53. I think Plymouth will be safe. Yeah, I'll well, we, we'll see what the other teams yeah. are and then we'll but decide. But as, as, as an overarching sentence, I think they're good enough to stay up. I think they'll that, those two points will see them over the line. Next, we come to the team just below Plymouth. And this is a team that surprised me that they're still in the mix because I thought, particularly when they beat us a few weeks ago, that they were just going to get away. But it's Queen's Park Rangers. Yeah. They're on 47 points in 19th place and their three, three remaining fixtures are at home to Preston, at home to Leeds, and away to Coventry. That is a tough set of fixtures. That's so, a really tough one. Yeah. So let's start off with the Preston game. So they're at home to Preston. Yeah, and just to follow your sentiment, by the way, I think uh, QPR, I've always seen them as a decent team. And when mm. they beat us a couple of weeks ago, I thought that was effectively going to make them safe, but they've been drawn back into the battle as well. Yeah, yeah. So Preston at home, we saw Preston at St Andrews recently. They really underwhelmed me. So I'm actually going to go for a QPR win here. So have I. Yeah. <laughs> I've, gone, I've gone for exactly the same reasons. I thought QPR were quite impressive at home, actually. Um, and I think they'll beat Preston because Preston have got nothing to play for now anyway. Yeah. Uh, although no games are easy, it should be a win. Next one's an interesting one. The the um, penultimate game for Queen's Park Rangers. They're also at home, but this time to Leeds United. They have just lost to Blackburn at home 1-0. However, they're very much in gunning for the title race, aren't they? So again, I can't see much more than a QPR loss on that one. Need to start the yeah. engines again, Leeds. I think they will here. I've gone for an also. I can't see anything beyond on a, uh, a Leeds win so therefore QPR loss mm. uh, what about their last game uh, an interesting one um, Coventry away yeah so the CBS is always a difficult place to go I, mean, I think Carver possibly now too far out of reach for the playoffs I think definitely out of um, it, yeah. but I still think they're going to have too much quality and I think that'll be a Carver win so QPR loss a QPR loss I've yeah. gone for a draw with that one um, I think uh, yeah, I think they're both uh, teams that uh, you know a Coventry at home last game nothing to play for but they're still a good quality side and I think there'll be players that have got to try and show something to Mark Robbins for the following season so I've, I've gone uh, uh, for a draw so in that you've predicted three points for Queen's Park Rangers one win and two losses uh, which will give them 50 points uh, I've gone for a win a loss and a draw which will give them 51 OK, mm -hmm. so we're not far off with that one. Mm -hmm. um, next, we come to the team below Queen's Park Rangers, uh, also on 47 points, and that's Stoke City. Mm -hmm. OK, their fixtures that they have remaining are at home to Plymouth. We've already predicted that, or you've already predicted that as a draw. In fact, both of us have predicted that as a draw. Then they're away to Southampton and at home to Bristol City. So we don't need to talk about the Plymouth game because we've already discussed that, so that's yep. a draw. So what do you think about 
their fixture away to Southampton. Similar to my logic with Leeds and QPR, I think Southampton are going to have too much quality for Stoke. I can only see a Stoke loss there. Me too. Okay, I've gone for that as well. And in the final game at home to Bristol City. Well, Bristol City, they seem a bit similar to Blues in the context of you never know which team's going to turn up. They seem to get some really odd results. So I'm actually going to back uh, Stoke on that one. I'm going to go for a home win. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've, uh, I've, I've done that. Just remind people that, you know, I, I really have no idea. Yeah. We've not discussed this before the video, uh, but actually all those fixtures we predicted is the same. That's going to give um, Stoke uh, an additional four points. Uh, which will make them finish on 51. That's what both mm -hmm. of us have done. Okay. Next, we come to our own club now, we're Birmingham City. So we are currently um, just below Stoke City in 21st place. So we're just above the relegation zone. We have 45 points. Uh, and we have, firstly, Rotherham away, Huddersfield away, and then we finish at home to Norwich. So let's start with uh, Rotherham. What's your thoughts? So for people watching, we just released the Rotherham uh, pre-match video yesterday. So you'll know that I think this is going to be a really tough, uh, tenth game and I think Blues are going to win this 1-1-0 uh, I, I said 2-1 so yeah. it's still a Blues win for me as well yeah. uh, what about Huddersfield away now, this, this is a real crunch game isn't it this, with Huddersfield this is the biggest game for, for Huddersfield and Blues yeah. uh, for the remainder of the season because whoever wins takes three points off the other team or if it's a draw it still keeps it's, you both it is both the into ultimate that. six pointer isn't it it, it? is yeah, it, re yeah, it yeah. really is and Huddersfield draw a lot of games yeah. uh, if you look at their their, their win last draw they, they drew 17 games this season yeah. and our away record is poor so I think this has got the perfect recipe for me, I'm going to go for a nil-nil draw. Yeah, I, well, I'm not going to predict a score, but, but but I've also gone for a draw for the same reasons because it's so important for both teams. And I think from our point of view, Birmingham City, a draw will be a good result here. As long as we don't lose that game, a win would be excellent, but mm -hmm. a draw would do us, I think. Yeah. Because that would prevent a team uh, that's in our in the same sort of uh, position as us uh, going above us. Uh, and finally, Matt, we're at home to Norwich City. This is... This I, I keep losing sleep over this one. I'm like, I, I can't decide which way this is going to go because Tom Wagner's come out and said when we sell out, we win games. We've seen it this season. When St. Andrews is packed, we'll sell this out. we tend to win. Yeah. There's no point in denying that. But Norwich, again, are going to be firmly going in and out of that. Uh, sorry, they're going to be firmly gunning for that final uh, playoff spot, I presume. And they have got a lot of quality. I think when you add those two things in, I think it's got the, uh, the output of a draw. I've put a draw, but but here's here's a theory as well that um, that if Norwich have already secured their playoff place before this game, please, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe they may rest players for the playoff semi-finals. You know, that's a I know I'm clutching at straws. I, I get that Blues fans. I am clutching at straws because I, I think that uh, any advantage we can get like that if that's the case I think we win but I, but I have also gone for a draw it also depends do we need something from that game so if we beat Rotherham and we draw to Huddersfield what are the other results around us do we need to go into the Norwich game with a win because if we do and we pack out St Andrews I could see us winning that I must admit however yeah. In the interest of all the variables, just using my brain, uh, a few logical things there, I think that's going to be a, a draw. I, I think so as well. And, I, and I, I think regardless of what the results are, for our, I, think the, I think we will need something out of that last game. Uh, hopefully it might be just a draw, but we will need something. And uh, you know what? We've got to look after ourselves. We've got to look at, you know, focus on what our um, performances are, really. Uh, OK, uh, next, Matt, we come to the team just below us uh, in um, 22nd place. That is Huddersfield Town. They're one point below us on 44 points. And here's their three fixtures. Uh, they've got Swansea at home. Then they've got us at home. And they finish, and this is a fixture that nobody wants, Ipswich away in their last game. So let's start off with the uh, Swansea at home. What do you think will happen there? Yeah, I think uh, Huddersfield will win that. Just keep it short and simple. I think they... Um, it's they have to, don't they? Exactly. It's going to be a tough game. And Swansea are hit and miss again. And yeah. I think Huddersfield will go into that with more passion and drive than Swansea will. I think no no Huddersfield fans are going to look at that Ipswich game that they've got last and think we're going to get anything. So they're going to see us and Swansea as their last two... Yeah. games that they could really potentially get points from because Ipswich are going to be really, really tough. We'll come on to that in a second. But uh, then they've got us. We both predicted a draw for that, haven't we? So we don't need to discuss that one. Yeah. Um, and then the Ipswich game away. Again, you know, just logically, Ipswich at home, Huddersfield away. You, I can't look much further past an Ipswich win so a Huddersfield loss. But who knows, on the last game of the season, do Huddersfield need points to go into it? Will Ipswich already be promoted? Same logic that you said about Norwich resting a few players. We just don't know how this season's going to pan out. However, Ipswich for me will have too much quality for Huddersfield. And I, I can't. I, yeah, Huddersfield last for me. I can't see the top positions being no. settled until the last game of the season. I think Ipswich are going to need points. And even if they are promoted, they ain't going to rest players. Why do they need to? They're already promoted. They might mm. as well just play their best True. team and uh, and celebrate. You know their promotion if that's what they do. And uh, you know 
we'll have to see. But we both predicted a win, draw, and a loss there in those three fixtures, and that would leave uh, Huddersfield with four extra points, and they've got now on forty eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Sheffield Wednesday are on level points with Huddersfield, one one place below them. Their remaining three fixtures are Blackburn away. Then they've got West Bromwich Albion at home, and they finish with Sunderland away. So what do you think about the Blackburn away? So Blackburn are coming off the back of a 1-0 win at Ellen Road with that Smodix goal. And again, I reference that player for a very specific reason because he's a very, you know, I think Blackburn have got more quality than Sheffield Wednesday. And again, I can't see anything past the Sheffield Wednesday loss on that one, especially with Blackburn being the home team. Okay, so that's a that's a loss. I've, I've actually gone for a draw on that one. Um, okay. I think that, uh, you know, Sheffield Wednesday, even though they are the away side, because of their desperate need for, for, for points, they're going to have to try and come away with something. I don't see them winning that game, uh, but I've gone for a, uh, a draw uh, yeah. on, on that game as well. Mm-hmm. Next we come, uh, West Bromwich Albion and uh, at, uh, at at home. So what do you think? That's their last home game. What do you think about that? Even with it being at home for me, West Brom will have too much quality for them. And I think, again, I can't see much more than a Shepherd Wednesday last on that one. Yeah, I've done that as well. Uh, and again, it comes down to this thing about, you know, if West Brom and Albion are secure in their playoff place, do they rest players because they don't want to get them injured for the playoff semi-finals? And that could have a, if that's the case, then there's a possibility there that Shepherd Wednesday could win. That. Mm. But, I, but I've actually gone for a, um, a loss as well. Um, uh, on that yeah. uh, and their final game is Sunderland away what do you think about that one? Oh, again just talking about all the variables that could be going into this but for me Sunderland are such a hit and miss team this season they've had a lot, they've had manager turnover they really underwhelmed me when they came to St Andrews I'm actually going to give Sheffield Wednesday a bit of credit here and especially if they have to go into that game with three points coming out of it I think they could do it I'm going to I'm going I'm to put my neck on the line I'm going to go Sheffield Wednesday win yeah, I also have gone for a win because it's the last game of the season and regardless of other results, it's likely that Sheffield Wednesday are going to need something in the last game. Mm. Uh, Sunderland have got nothing to play for. You know, you know. For unfortunately for this season, because of what's happened at their club in terms of their manager situation, they are very beatable and I think Sheffield Wednesday will win that. So uh, I've gone for Sheffield Wednesday win as well. So for you, you've predicted then that Sheffield Wednesday will get an additional three points, which will be the win against um, Sunderland, but a loss against Blackburn and against uh, West Brom. So that will put them on 47. So if our predictions were to come as we've predicted, uh, and we know, uh, uh, viewers, that it it is um, predictions, but this is what would happen. With Matt's predictions, um, Rotherham already relegated. Mm -hmm. Okay, Then next uh, would be Sheffield Wednesday with 47 points. Um, Then there would be Huddersfield with 48 points. Then there would be Queen's Park Rangers and Plymouth with 50 points and Birmingham and Stoke with 51 okay. according to your predictions okay with mine rather than clearly relegated uh, we'd have Sheffield Wednesday and Huddersfield both relegated with 48 points um, then we would have Birmingham just above the relegation zone on 50 um, and then we'd have Stoke and QPR on 51 and Plymouth on 53 so both of us actually through our predictions have predicted that we would actually be safe we would would survive but they're only predictions, aren't they? And, you know, the championship, the term that any club can beat any club is very, very true. Uh, and lots of things can change in three games. But uh, hopefully our predictions are correct. And uh, we'd love to know what yours are. So let us know in the comments below what you think the bottom three will be, uh, starting from 24th, 23rd, 22nd. Obviously, we know that Rotherham will be 24th. So put a comment below and let me and Matt know. It's always fantastic to get your um, opinions uh, so we can have a look for ourselves. And, uh, of course, we always hope that you like the content that we produce and you like the video. So if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already looked at our um, social media channels, uh, then take a look at them. You'll see the handles coming up on the screen right now for our X page and for our Instagram page. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos all about Birmingham City. And myself and Matt will see you on the next video.